Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back. I hope you guys, as always, are having a freaking awesome day right now. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe. If you haven't already done that, we're on the road to 31,000 subscribers. I would love you guys to join me on this journey, so hit subscribe and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. I have uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. Links are in the description. And yeah, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, but this time it is a true story. Now, you guys know I tell you guys a lot of creepy stories, and I gotta be honest, most of those are actually fake. They're just they're just urban legends people have made up, and the story has gone down the line, you know, and generations have found it and thought it was really cool, so it's kept going, it's kept it alive. But this one is, in fact, a true story. We are talking about the real leather face from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is who the character is based on. It's not literally what you think. There's no chainsaw involved, but it is pretty gruesome. Um, now, if you guys don't know who Ed Gein is, we're going to jump right over to, you know what, say it with me in a second, and uh, we're going to find out. So we are going over to Paranormal America. Welcome to Paranormal America. Sorry guys, I'm chewing gum. I shouldn't really do that on a video. Um, today we are talking about Ed Gein. If you guys don't know who Ed Gein is, he is uh, or was a guy who lived in Wisconsin in, I believe it was La Crosse County, Wisconsin. Now, Ed Gein. Who is Ed Gein, you may ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. That's a good question, so thank you for asking. Ed Gein... Uh, he was a pretty normal guy growing up. Apparently, he was pretty normal most of his life. He had a mother who was very religious, made sure they went to school every day. Him and uh, I believe he had a brother. Um, made sure they went to school. He, her, his mom always told him that like uh, he shouldn't have a girlfriend for this reason, that reason, whatever. Um, he should like go to school. He should learn. He had he was pretty strict. He wasn't allowed to play out. And this probably was what con contributed to um, him turning out this way later in life. Um, but his father was apparently a raging alcoholic who was very abusive sometimes. And uh, you know, they lived in a pretty rural part of Wisconsin. There was their their house was actually like just outside of a town. So it was kind of like a house on its own. And if you guys remember in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, there is a house on its own in the middle of a field. And that house does actually exist. I've seen it, um, but you're not allowed to go down the, you know, the driveway. It actually says no trespassing or you will be in trouble. Um, and I would love to go there in real life though. But that's, that's I think that's actually in Texas, the, the real house. This isn't even based in Texas. This is Wisconsin, um, complete opposite side of the country. So up there in Wisconsin. Uh, Ed Gein and his family, they're growing up. They're just, you know, just doing it like they do. Um, and later on in life, Ed Gein's father died, blah, blah, blah. Later on, his mother died. Now, when his mother died, apparently it, it, he really couldn't get over the grief and it kicked off some kind of psychiatric problem on him. <clears throat> and that's what some people are actually saying. Um, but I think it could be due due to the fact that his mom never really let him do anything besides go to school. She was very strict. She was very religious. And I guess it kind of like, maybe there was a part of him that wanted to, I don't know. It's really hard to explain, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to jump right to the gory stuff because I know that's what you guys are here for. So there had been numbers of bodies going missing from cemeteries. And there had also been reports of two people being missing in this town. So everyone was like, I don't know what what's going on. Let's 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 like search. That's what they were doing, just like they normally would. Nobody suspected anything about Ed because he was such a quiet, uh, very polite. Apparently, he was like very helpful. He used to like uh, borrow things to like um, neighbors, stuff like that. He was very nice. He, that's the way people in this town described him. Is very he was very nice. He was very polite um, and well mannered. So. Uh, so nobody really suspected anything of him, but bodies kept going missing and stuff like that. Then when people started getting killed, there was a, like a local grocery store person that was gone missing and stuff. So they decided eventually to search Ed's house and the police were not expecting to find what they found in Ed's house. 
Now, if you guys, let's talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Forget the chainsaw, but what does he do? What did he, he wears people's bodies. Remember, if you've seen it, he dresses up. Um, they're like a little inbred family that live in the middle of Texas. They He dresses up um, in like people's skin. He makes things like um, an apron and clothes and pants and gloves and other kinds of weird crap out of human skin. Um, he also wears people's faces. He cuts off their face and he wears it so he looks pretty. Because he was kind of like a, in the original Chainsaw Massacre, he was like a, a transvestite, I believe you call it, where like people will wear, uh, like a man will wear women's clothes. I don't know. But that's apparently what he was um, in the movie. And he used to make the weirdest things like house decorations, lampshades made out of skin, and other things like bowls and cutlery made out of uh, like bones and stuff like that. That is exactly what Ed Gein did. When they, the, the police searched his house, they found a number of things. Now I'm gonna tell you what I can remember. There was so many. Uh, they found like, uh, they found bowls to eat out of, bowls made out of human skulls. They found candles, like candle holder holders made for uh, out of skulls. They found like knives, forks made out of bones. They found like a necklace with tongues on it. They found a belt made out of human nipples. They made, uh, I mean, they found a pair of pants or leggings that they made, uh, that he made out of, like, people's skin. They also found an apron that was made out of skin. He wore people's faces. There was actually a woman's, I think it was the grocery store, or it might have been the other person that went missing. They actually found her face in a plastic bag or a paper bag or something. Um, his lampshades were made out of human's flesh. Um, what else was there? There is a whole bunch of stuff, like gloves and everything I just told you guys. That was there. They found four noses and, it, oh, man. Like, they, they actually found, um, what's the other thing? Like a corset. They found a corset made out of the top half of a woman's body. They found, like, oh, man, it was, there's so much stuff. Um, they found all this in his house. So, obviously... Uh, oh, and then they found a woman uh, in his, in his sh I think it was his shed or a garage or something. Yeah, and she was actually hanging upside down. Um, I don't remember if she was dead or not. Yeah, she was obviously dead, but I don't remember if like she had her head missing or her face missing. Something was missing, but she was hanging upside down um, in this guy's garage. And it's, it's pretty messed up. Like People could not believe it. This town couldn't believe it. The house is not there anymore. Um, so, like... I, I believe there was threats from like the the people who lived in this town or I think they actually did do something about it uh, Nobody wanted because this little town had never been heard of and it was like such a small town and um, Like it all of a sudden it was all over the world that this 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 guy lived in this town And he gave this town a really bad name like a little weird town So obviously the people didn't like that they wanted to rid his house um, Or rid his existence of everything in this town so I believe what I read was um, the people of the town actually burned down the house uh, after obviously he was arrested and he later on in life died of uh, cancer problems with his liver. So he's no longer here. He, he, I believe that he only actually killed two people. Um, that's That's been confirmed. He killed two people. Um, but we're not really sure. Like uh, It doesn't really have much information. Uh, there was a record records or records 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 there's a lot of records of him stealing bodies um but it's not really known how many people he actually killed except for two those two are confirmed uh but it's pretty messed up what do you guys think of ed gein um and they call him the real like he was the inspiration <coughs> for leatherface on texas chainsaw massacre so uh it's pretty weird pretty crazy pretty crazy i would not like I imagine just walking in the house and seeing all this stuff be pretty gruesome. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sick today. I, I literally am sick. I'm, I'm trying my hardest to like stay up, upbeat and positive, but it's, it's hard. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. That is literally it. Like, there isn't much more I can say about this. Uh, I always finish a video and then I remember something that I should have told you guys. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, question of the day is... What can your oh yeah have you what okay question of the day is what can what what do you think about Ed Gein and yeah let me know 
Um, his body is, oh, this is the other thing. His body is actually buried in Michigan, uh, but he died in Madison, Wisconsin. So there you go, guys. There's your video. And uh, yeah, I'm, I swear to God, there's something I'm forgetting. That's why I'm so distracted. But I'm going to cut it here. That's your question of the day. What do you guys think of Ed Gein? Let me know in the comment section. Magic 8-Ball was Ed Gein. Uh, did Ed Gein... I don't know. I'm going to skip Magic 8 Ball today. I literally can't think of anything, and I'm not feeling too good. So, um, But yeah, it's also, guys, you guys know I have started this thing called Random Fact of the Day where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's Random Fact of the Day is tonight at 1140, April 14th, 2016. Tonight, when you're in bed at 1140, just, well, depending on where you live. I mean, Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time, 11.40. Titanic hit the iceberg 104 years ago tonight. And then if you're still awake at like 2, 2 a.m. or 2.40 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, that's when the, the last of the Titanic was seen, when it just went just under the water. So it's a very sad day, and... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be thinking about that tonight. Like, I think about stuff like that. You know, when it comes to that time, I'll be sitting there in bed tonight, and I'll be like, it's weird to imagine all those people just swimming around in the middle of the, the middle of the ocean right now, freezing to death and drowning. And it must have been horrible. There were so many innocent people, man. So many people. So many things could have been done, you know. But they they wanted it to look luxurious. They didn't want lifeboats all over it. So more than half the people had to die as a result of that um but yeah so many so many innocent you know europeans like coming from europe to america for better life and little, little did they know they were never gonna get a better life that was it for them so it's a really sad story i love the titanic like i'm so fascinated uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm blabbing on for like a whole other video thank you guys so much i love all you guys stay positive even if you're sick and you feel like you're gonna pass out just like i do right now and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys i will see you next time hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this video and let's see if we can go for four likes on this video i bet we can't do it i'm pushing too hard this is not going to be good um it's going to be pretty embarrassing i say let's go for three likes uh but it would be great if we got four and uh yeah remember the most important thing guys chase your dreams